Hi, this is Mark Sadler of BestCAD Tips. Today's video will show how to attach a raster image file, such as a photo of a sketch, to use as an underlay in a CAD drawing. First, how do you get a digital file to use as an underlay? The simplest way is to take a digital photo of a sketch or to scan it using a scanner. For my underlay in this video, I'll use this JPEG raster file that was created by taking a digital photo of a handmade sketch. If you have a ping or bitmap file, those types work well too. I've had the best results using a JPEG file as an underlay. So let's open a new drawing in AutoCAD. I have a template set up. And in that template, there's a layer called Z Raster. It's named starting with a Z to make it go to the bottom of the layer list. That way it's easy to find it and freeze it or thaw it as I'm making the drawing. With the raster layer set as the current layer, let's go to the ribbon and look in the Insert tab, Reference Panel, Attach button. A dialog box will open called Select Reference File. The first thing to do is to look at the files of type setting at the bottom. If it's set on DWG, you're not going to be able to see the image file in the list above. So we're going to pull down that selector. You can choose all image files or simply all files to make sure that the image file will show up in the list above. This setting acts as a filter for the file types. Navigate through your folders to the image file that you intend to use as an underlay. Select it and click Open. You'll now see the Attach Image dialog box. It will show a preview of the sketch. And under Scale, we want to uncheck Specify on Screen and change the scale factor to 100. We don't know exactly what the scale factor will need to be, but we can be sure that 100 is going to get you closer than the default value of 1.0. So go ahead and hit OK. The image is now following your pointer on the screen. So we're going to click on just any point to place the image. Now we're going to select the image by clicking on its frame. You'll see that it has grips and the ribbon changes. One of the panels is called Adjust, and in that panel there's a fade slider. If the sketch has a white background, I like to fade that background down to sort of a light gray, setting of about 40 to 50. This darker background will make my CAD lines show up better when I'm tracing over the image. It also creates less eye strain by lessening the contrast between the image and the dark gray background of AutoCAD. Now that the raster image is placed in the work area, we're ready to go to the next step, which is rotating and scaling the image. We'll cover that in an upcoming video. This is Mark saying so long. Thanks for watching, and keep on catting.